dear viewer, make sure you click on the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And be the first to watch new videos, of Apostle John Chi. Watch and be blessed. dans la vie du peuple de Dieu en ce jour, tel que vous pouvez le constater chers téléspectateurs. Et peu importe le médium par lequel vous êtes en train de nous regarder, que ce soit Facebook. So who is the cause of this? Ah. I want to catch him, catch his life. Oh, you want to catch, catch him. him? He was supposed to do great things. Oh. He was supposed to do what? Great things. Great things. Oh. Who stopped him from doing great things? Oh. Huh? Oh. I hate him with passion. Oh, you hate him? Yes. With passion. I hate everything about him. Ooh. What have you done to his career? Ooh. I've destroyed everything. His marriage? He struggles. He tries. He helps, but no way. Huh? He tried to help me. He has lost everything. Yeah. All the jobs he had, yeah. everything has gone down. He's yeah. my husband. He's your husband? Yes, yeah, man of God. Who is this lady? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Who is he? He's my husband. He's your husband? Yes, man of he, God. She said you are the husband. I don't know her. He is. He's my husband. Mm. So what can you say about him? He has anger. He has lost everything. He's jobless now. He's not doing anything. No money, nothing. But of God, he has gone to zero. Who is the cause of all this? I am the cause. Why? Why do you try to him. cause him pain? I hate this boy with passion. <sighs> so what have you done to his career? Destroy everything. You destroyed wrong everything. decisions. Wasting money. He cannot make the right decision. Who is the cause? I am. Who are you in the first place? I am the evil one. I have catch him. Oh, you catch him? Yes. How many of you are this body? A lot. We stood the ground and said he will not make it because he tells us. He yes. challenged you? Yes. How? He wants to pray. He wants to fast. He fasts like a madman. Fast seven days. Fast. What is a madman? You don't like prayer? I hate him. He has gone so many places. Uh huh. Nothing to show for. Right <sighs> now, whatever <sighs> you have taken from him, <sighs> release him <sighs> and leave <sighs> now. Leave him. Leave him. Leave there. Leave there. Leave there. Never you enter him again. In Jesus' name. Glory be to Master Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Master Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Indeed, Jesus Christ is the ultimate that has the final say. Thank you, Lord. Zachariah chapter 4, verse 6 says that it is not by might, it is not by power, but it is by my spirit, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus. Is the response of a happy heart? How are you? God bless you. Stand up, stand up. How are you? What happened? I don't know. <sighs> huh? I don't know. Who is she? She's my lovely wife. Oh, your lovely wife? Yes, sir. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, So, Jesus. you listen to that? So, this is proof that he was not the one that spoke yes, before. Man of God. Yes, man of God. The one that spoke before has been cast out by Jesus. Amen. Thank so, you, Jesus. You should not for any reason... Remind him of what he said. Yes, man of God. Okay. Yes, man of God. He's free. I'm Thank free. Thank you, indeed. Jesus. Amen. So now, God has restored him. Amen. Okay. 
what he has lost will be regained. Thank you, Jesus. So, the baby girl is coming with blessings. Oh, it's true, my Lord God. It's true. It's true, my Lord God. It's true. Our baby girl is coming with blessings. She comes, wow. it will be a season of celebration. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So, Thank you, Jesus, for helping me. So, oh, I've suffered. I have suffered. I have suffered. Nothing is working. My family hates me. Everybody hates me for nothing. It's over today. <laughs> it's over. It's over today. All over the world, continue to watch the screen. Whatever that you see happening here today can also happen to you if you believe. It's all right. It's He's the invisible hand. You have been restored. Amen. And see blessing here. Amen. Amen. Her name is Blessing. Amen. 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 He was all over the world. You Facebook. Any medium. Just connect by faith. Man of God, I just want to confirm the prophecy that you gave. That my baby is a baby girl. This is the echography. Below it is written sex, female. Okay, wait for me. Wait for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Dennis Fokum. This is my lovely wife and our lovely daughter. The problem that brought me here was of stagnation, setback, limitation in progress. On that fateful day, that was my first time to be here. Before coming here, I had so many challenges. I would want to invest in a business. My wife would say, no, don't do that. I would tell her I will not listen to you. I will go and invest, and I will lose a lot of money. Like sometimes I lose 1.8 million, 500,000, it would just go to the drain like that. Even when I had some business partners, when I was abroad, I was working in the shipyard. We were building ships in Dubai. So somebody wanted to help me. He said, okay, I want to help you. I want to promote you. But because of this same spirit, that guy was dismissed from his job. Back there in Dubai, I had some friends. So they said, okay, go back to Cameroon. We want to start up something like an agency to be bringing people over there to work. Had an agreement. Back here in Cameroon, some people were owing them some money. So they said, go collect this money for us. We will give you your own percentage. When I came, due to the agreement, collected the money, sent the money to them. We had an agreement that the next project, I'll be having a particular sum, amount of money. When I established all these things, these people just make as if they don't know me. And I gave them more than $8 million that I collected from some people back here in Cameroon. I brought some goods in the container sold these goods, but I don't know what happened. The money is just like, it's just going. You don't know what's going on. And some people, when they collected my goods, they said, okay, I will collect it. I will pay you. That's how the business, the money just went to the drain. And that business was more than $7 million. Everything went to the drain. Anything I lay my hand to do, it does not work. That's how we had disagreement in the house with my wife. Because, but thank God for her because she's wise. Sometimes when I'm Angry, she would just sit quiet. So we had a lot of disagreement. I was the one causing all this disagreement in the house because of this. Because anytime I want to do something, immediately money comes into my hand. I will invest in the wrong business. And at the end of the day, I will lose everything. Just like the last business that somebody said, okay, I want to bless you. The person gave me some money. I went and invested in another business. And this money, in less than two months, 500000 just it just went to the drain. So I knew that there was a force behind this. I even traveled out of Cameroon to seek for solution. I went to Nigeria. I was there. I fasted. If it's fasting, I fasted. 100 days, 120 days, six days dry, without food, without water, three days, but nothing changed. Alors le frère continue en disant que c'est comme ça qu'il s'est décidé à chercher la solution. Il, était, il est même allé hors du Cameroun. Il pouvait gêner. 6 jours, 100 jours, 150 jours, il pouvait gêner autant qu'il pouvait, mais la solution n'arrivait toujours pas. I used to see a woman coming to my dream. The woman said, I will not leave you, challenging me. Then now, another dream, I will see myself in cobwebs. 
I'm wrapped in cobwebs. I will struggle to come out. Then sometimes people come to my dream. They want to kill me. They want to shoot me. A lot of people. So in my dream where I was having so many nightmares, it was so frightful. But I was always praying, believing God that someday this thing will come to an end. So when this thing persisted, that is when I came to realize that I need a solution. Because I knew that there was a spirit behind this. I knew that I had a spiritual problem that only God can solve. I spoke to my wife and she agreed that we should come to the Ark of God Covenant Ministry. That was my first time to come here. I've never met with a man of God. I just see him on television. So we decided to come, seeking for solution from God. And on that faithful day, as we came here, I've gone to places. Some people will pray for me. They will say, no, you have money. Your money is scattered. There will, some will be saying some other things. But I knew within me that there is something bigger than what they are saying. So as I came here and I had the encounter with the man of God, I don't know what happened. It's just today that I'm seeing the video. After that, I was free. I felt light. And then opportunities came my way. Pour le Seigneur, Jesus Christ. Now, I had an opening in the Douala port as a safety officer. So after this, I had this opening. So after my deliverance, so this opening started coming. So I was called for a job in the Douala seaport. So now I can take care of my family. I can take care of myself. I can solve everything that money wants to solve. In my marriage, we have peace. My wife can sit with me. We take decisions together. And the, these decisions are always good decisions now. So after that encounter, a lot of calls, promises are coming from everywhere. That is what could not happen before. So many things are coming my way. Open doors, so many things. So I want to thank God for that. The power of God in the power room is something that you cannot explain. You just need to experience it. It's beyond human understanding. Alors, le frère est en train de dire que la puissance de Dieu dans la salle de puissance est quelque chose qu'on ne peut pas exprimer. Tu dois juste toi-même le vivre. My name is Mrs. Nina Dennis, and the man standing beside me is my lovely husband. And this is our lovely baby, Blessing Dennis. People of God, we are really happy today because God is here. Before we came here, we had a lot of challenges. In our marriage, the family, nothing was moving. Everything my husband was doing was just like when he starts, it goes to zero. And he had a lot of anger. Every time I advise him, I tell him that don't do this one. Don't invest here. He will not listen to me. He will go ahead, invest, and at the end of the day, everything will crumble. At a certain point, it was like I could not bear it. But I took it like a wife. I said, no. We have a God we are serving and we must, this thing must come to an end because it's not something we can fight on our own. Before we made the decision to come here, which was our first time, I had a revelation that the man of God came to me where the pregnant women usually sit and he touched me and told me to move up to the altar and take the living water and drink. And in that revelation, I actually saw that immediately I drank the water I started labor. I told my husband that no matter what happens, we must come here. And when we came here, we were opportune to go into the prayer power room. And after the deliverance of my husband, the man of God also prophesied to me and told me that the baby in my womb is a blessing and that she's going to come with so much blessings and her name is going to be blessing. Acclamant pour le Seigneur Jésus Christ. He actually told me that the baby in the womb is a female. And this was my first time coming, and I was so shocked. I had my echography, and I confirmed that the baby was actually a female. Thank you, Jesus. So the baby girl is coming with blessings. Oh, yes, it's true, my love, God. It's true. It's true, my love, It's so true. Our baby girl is coming with blessings. Amen. She comes, it will be a season of celebration. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So, thank you, Jesus, for helping me. Then the man of God announced that there was going to be a, a vigil and we're going to move up to the altar to get the living water. I was so shocked because 
I remember the revelation I had. I said, hey, it means God really wanted me to come here because it's just a proof of what he showed me. So during the night vigil, when we came here, I was opportune to come to the altar. When the man of God started praying, I already felt like vibration in my stomach. So I came up to the altar as I took the living water. Immediately, I started feeling contractions. Before that, the, the doctor had told me that I was going to go through an operation because the baby was too big and that there was a blockage in my cervix that the baby's head could not pass. I told my husband that we must come here on that day and immediately I went into labor at the altar. We went to the hospital and I, I had a safe delivery. There was no complication, nothing. The baby came out normally. Mais le bon master Jesus Christ. Clamez pour le Seigneur Jésus Christ. When I came up to the altar, I felt it was vibrating. The, the baby was really shaking. Immediately, I took the living water. That same day, we went to the hospital. I went into serious labor and I gave birth safely. Elle continue en disant que avant de descendre de l'hôtel après avoir pris de l'eau vive et elle a accouché librement. Before entering the power room, have you met with the man of God, senior apostle John Chi, to tell him the sex of your baby? I had never met with him before, not one on one, no. It was my first time coming here and I gave birth safely without operation. Even the cord that the doctor said it was across my cervix, there was totally nothing. The baby came out safely without any blockage. The medical report is a proof that the baby was a female as written by the doctor. Here it shows the sex female. This is the echography and this is the confirmation that the baby is a female as the doctor had written and the man of God prophesied. So this is a confirmation that the baby is a female. So I just want to thank God for what he has done in our life, in the life of my family. It is really a blessing. In our family now, in my home, there is no anger. We are at peace. Any decision we want to make, sometimes my husband will come to me and ask me, what do you think about this? It's not like he takes a decision again. And we are living now in total peace. Alors, elle veut rendre Not grâce à Dieu Christ. pour ce que Dieu a fait dans sa vie. Truly, the baby brought blessings as the man of God had prophesied. Immediately after I gave birth to the baby, that's when my husband received the call. Um, he has this job opportunity in Douala. Il confirme en disant que réellement le bébé est venu avec tellement de bénédictions. People of God, I really want to thank God and I just want to confirm that the baby is a female. As you can see, the baby is actually a female. I just want to thank God. I'm really happy. Comme vous pouvez le voir, le bébé est du sexe féminin. Je vais dire merci à Dieu. The advice I will give to viewers all over the world is that you should believe God. There is nothing that is difficult for God to do. Have faith in God and any situation you are in, just know that no matter how long it might take, there is a day that God has set that this day is your day. So never ever be discouraged of anything. God is on your side. Amen. I just want to thank God and confirm the prophecy that the man of God gave to my wife and the baby. And what I will say is trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. The prophecy was, my wife will give birth to a baby girl. And this is the prophecy right here in front of you people. And it will bring blessing to my life. And I'm really seeing the blessing. The blessing is flowing from this baby. And ever That's since this Jesus baby came Christ. into my life and into this family, there is joy. Right at the hospital, everybody wants to see the baby. Everybody was just coming to our room. They, want, they were just happy. Even women that gave birth to their own children. And I'm seeing open doors. So I just want to confirm to the prophecy that the man of God gave to me. My advice to the world is, no matter what you are going through, seek the face of God. And always trust God. The Bible says, he that trusts in the Lord shall never be put to shame. Though your weeping may tarry for a night, it can be one year, two years, three years. But surely one day in the morning, 
God will surely visit you. And my promise is God is to serve God, trust in him, and I pray that he give me the grace to continue to grow this child in his way and to live in peace and harmony with my wife. In il promet à Dieu de le servir avec toute sa famille et d'élever ses enfants dans la crainte de l'Éternel.